Yeah. From your point of view, yeah, how, how crucial was it? Oh, personally, it's probably one of the better wins that I've been a part of. Um, obviously, from where we've been a couple of years, the pressure probably externally, internally inside the footy club, but um, oh, as what everyone's saying, the emotion uh, when that siren went was just almost sort of speechless. Um, and that feeling in the rooms after, um, where you sort of look around and your sense of you know pride and um, it was quite a special moment. So to be involved with that was obviously um, really quite special for me. And um, obviously it's, it's it's done and we we move and shift our focus to Sydney. But um, no, it's, it's really big for the footy club. Um, I prefer the chase down tackle to be honest. Um, the goals. Right place at the right time. Um, you know, they're always nice, but um, I think the chase and tackle, that's the sort of stuff that I want to be known for, um, and that's why I get selected in the side. So it's better to do that in a cru uh, crucial time. Um, you know, I felt uplifted the team, and um, hopefully, you know, because they were getting a bit of a run on, hopefully that sort of set the tone a little bit and sort of someone could get, you know, inspiration from it and for us to hold on. Obviously, it was a fantastic team effort, and um, to be able to contribute with a couple of little things was nice. Yeah, it's obviously fourth year on the list now, and I've built my um, fitness to a point where I've, you know, I've been trying to push for that sort of higher forward role, going through stoppage. Um, uh, I've been doing a little bit of it in the preseason with Schoenberg, obviously with Matt Crouch out. Um, Showy went on onto the ball, um, so it gave me an opportunity to be able to do that a bit more. Um, so it's a, a role that I'm still trying to learn and develop, and um, you know, it's good to be trusted by Nixie and VB, the midfield coach, to get me in there and rails. So. Um, something I'm still trying to work on, but yeah, it'd, it'd be nice to be able to keep that role for a bit longer. Yeah. What, what about the forward line? Played a little bit smaller up, up there on the weekend, only for two tools. Is that something we can expect this week, for example? Oh, look, that's probably a question for Nixie, to be honest. Um, we went, Nixie went small, um, and it was probably really good for the forwards to be able to bring the heat, which is what we did. I, I felt Ned, Rowie, even the tools, everyone sort of really bought into that pressure, and obviously that's what you would have seen on the day. Um, but Fogg played really well in the twos, Elliot's playing really well, so um, I think that's more of a match-up thing, but you know, that's up to Nixie and you know, selection. Just the, uh, the pressure you brought, everyone's talking about the tackling, especially in that first quarter. Was that something you um, would be working on, or was it the mindset, um, which is why the, the lesser-known players were? Oh, I think that's what you get with a young group. Um, you know, Ned's running around like a headless chook, and it just it drives older players to do it. Um, and you look on paper and you hear everyone say from outside, look at this, look at this, but it's a pretty simple game, really. Um, we bring the heat first 15, 20 minutes and um, like if the crowd, we felt like we are playing with an extra 40,000 on the weekend, so that makes it easier for us. But um, that's a goal, bring the heat. For us, was a big focus, um, put their defence under as much pressure as possible and um, to be able to you know, put a good score on the board helps. Um, scoreboard pressure was big for us on the day, but... Um, yeah, that relentless pressure, that's something that we want to be known for as a footy team and to be able to especially bring that the first quarter um, set us up for a good day. Did you believe that you could get that result? Oh, certainly. Yeah, if it, no point in rocking up if you don't think you're going to win. Um, we had three or four key performance indicators that we knew that if we could tick them off that we were going to go a long way to winning um, and we ticked them off. So to be able to do that, um, it started with the first 10, 15 minutes um, and then, yeah, we, we were able to hold on. Oh, well, that's the goal. Um, the best teams back it up every single week. It's a long season. Um, and, yeah, it's good to be able to look at the highlights and look at all this stuff and what went well. But the reality is we're playing on Saturday um, against a quality opposition who had a really good win on the weekend. So um, we know and we've got a blueprint of what our game looks like and can clearly beat one of the best teams in the comp. So um, consistency is a word that's going to be thrown up and that's something we're striving for. That's what the best teams are. Um, oh, I can't remember. I think, yeah, have a look for me. Just the goal, it looked like you obviously really enjoyed it. Um, you high five a fan. Was that something you just couldn't resist at the time? Yeah, I don't even know what was going through my head, to be honest. I think it almost popped a blood vessel in my neck. Um, but I actually, it was his 50th birthday, I found out, after it. So that was quite special to be able to give him a handshake on his birthday. But, um, oh, I just... 
even like Rowie, like, I don't think you ever know what you're doing when you're celebrating like that. And there's 40,000 pe people going berserk like they were, it's just you, you lose yourself in the emotion of it. So that no, was a good moment. Uh, yeah, I got found out after the game. Someone texted me saying I actually know that bloke, and it was 50th. So, yeah. Well, there you go. Um, oh, every week's a test. Um, I think we've seen the way Butsy performed with Tom Hawkins. Pretty amazing. So um, he's had a fantastic summer. He's we back into the hilt, to be honest, mate. So um, Buddy, obviously one of the best players to ever play the game, and um, you know he comes back in. But look, we we play our way and we play our structure, and we back anyone, no matter who it is, coming in to um, get the job done for us. What do you expect from Swans in general? They obviously a young side as well and had a similar. Oh, we we'll have a look at them during the week. Um, see, sort of, you know, the key sort of performances that indicators that we need to be able to beat them. But um, yeah, they looked quite sharp on the weekend watching their game. Um, we expect the same thing as what we bring. Um, and look, we'll credit Sydney for whatever they bring, but it's all about us. I think we um, we just got to bring whatever we bring and. Uh, and what we did on the weekend, and we showed that we can beat Geelong. Um, you know, that should be enough to, to beat many teams in the comp, and it starts again on Saturday with Sydney. What was the biggest takeaway from your team? Um, I think the word beliefs, the one. I think looking at it as a whole, AFL, Sample, staff, fans, everyone, just the belief that you know our brand, Nixie's brand, it, it's good enough. And when we trust, and when we all buy into that. Um, you know, sort of the philosophy of our game style, it's, it's pretty powerful. So, um, you know, we look at that and we go, we've been able to tick that. And, yeah, it's, look, we appreciate we'll be able to do that on the round one. And as I've said a couple of times now, it's 21, 22 weeks to go. So uh, we just got to keep bringing that every single week. And as I said, Saturday night, we've got an unreal opportunity to be able to perform like that again. Oh, potentially, mate. Look, there might have been a few things when you, like, from personal experience, rocking up zero and thirteen, it can hurt. Um, but I think it started from the day that we left here, had a really good conversation. The, the buy-in from the group has just been absolutely incredible. Um, starts from our leaders, Tex, Sloney, Lynchy, um, and it filters down even Sholey, Will, um, all these guys. Like, obviously, with the border closures um, over the off-season, a lot of Victorians were staying here. Um, training together, you know, doing things together outside of footy, and and it wasn't a chore. It was like, right, boys, like we've got to do this, and it's fun, it's enjoy. And I think we're seeing that. Um, obviously, training in eights isn't that fun, and every club had the same same stuff. But um, to be able to train again as a group, get the cohesion to where it is, um, no, nah, it's, it's been a lot more enjoyable for us. Uh, yeah, I think it was just more. Well, I am sore, but. Um, more game time on the weekend. Obviously, we're down to two rotations, so um, just a little bit of a look after me for today. Um, so I expect to fully train on Thursday and have no issues. Oh, just a little cramp in the adductor on um, on Saturday, so just want to get it um, off legs for today and um, day off tomorrow, and should be right train Thursday. With, with the reduced rotations and, and the fact you had a few injuries, were players feeling it a little bit more? Oh. Definitely would say so. That's both teams, probably every team in the competition, really. Um, obviously, it was a hot day, and to have two on the bench towards the end um, with the reduced caps, obviously, it's gone up to 20 minute quarters from 16. So um, it is tough. Um, and, you know, we're professional athletes, we recover well, and some guys have different programs, and, and that's just the way it is. But, um, yeah, uh, it's just the way it's going to be. And I think it'll just take a few weeks to be able to adjust to the new game stuff, uh, the new game time, sorry. So, no, it should be fine.